Hey, hello YouTube. I'm Karan from India, and in this video, we're gonna talk about five tricks to fool your friends using CMD. If you have some annoying friends like me, and you want to show them what you can do, so it's your best chance to see to watch this complete video and take your revenge. I'm going to tell you five tricks that I have selected. and tried on my friends using cmd so let's start with the first one the first one is to hide the drives so let me open the explorer and as you can see here are five drives 1 2 3 4 5 and c d e f g so if you are for example let let's take that this is my friend's computer and he is just go, uh, just gone for glass of water and i have 10 seconds with that computer so for my revenge what i'll do is i will open cmd and write disk part press enter and it will ask me for administrator privilege i will click yes and as i know that in e drive that he has all the music and photos videos so what i will do is i will simply right here select volume e and press enter and then remove letter e and press enter as you can see he has disk part successfully removed the drive letter or mount point so if i will go again in the explorer and there is no e drive and when your friend will get this he will be get very annoyed and he will ask you for the about the drive so you can take your revenge and ask for money or whatever treat for reset re for getting the drive back and sometimes i got stuck I don't know but I have a problem. So to get back the E drive just simply do the same window R CMD then disk part and yes after yes Sir, you will see this external window cool. and after that you just need to do list volume and here you can see that there is a drive with star having no name so that's your E drive just simply take the number and right here select volume 3 and press enter and then simply assign letter e and press enter as you can see the volume is assigned and you can press window e and the e drive is again there with the same folders nothing happened to it So that is the first trick to annoy your friends and take your revenge or the pending treat. The second trick we're going to talk about is to find the hidden files of the PC. For example, in the same drive your friend has some hidden content and I'm not personally recommending to do on this on any one else computer. So you should be aware of this of someone else's privacy so before doing that keep that thing in mind that i am not responsible if you are doing using it for any illegal purpose so the second trick is to see the hidden files in this folder so let us change the drive to e drive first as you can see we are in the c drive and to see all the hidden contents in the drive i will write dir slash s slash b star and then slash a hidden so to see all the hidden folders i will write dh if you want to see every file and folder remove the d i want to see the folders so i will write d and h so as you have seen that 
all the folders that are hidden and the files not the files only only the folders that are hidden are on the console list so if you want to see this folder for example just right click mark and select e the full full path press enter it is copied now press window r and control v so you can simply go into that folder press by pressing enter and you can see all the hidden contents of your friend and you can make him jealous or whatever so i am not personally recommending this it is just for your educational purpose and i am not responsible for any damage you can do to your friend so the third trick we're going to talk about is making them blind not by not by injuring their eyes just making them blind by doing what they possibly can do on computer for example what we do is this explorer window we will kill that explorer and he cannot do anything so for example simply write t a s k k i w l slash f and then write e x p l o r e r dot e x e and press enter as it has given me error so slash f slash i m i think i have to write slash f then slash i m and press enter why it is giving me error explorer dot e x e I don't know if I'm writing the file name right, so let me check once. Explorer.exe, the name is correct. So let me get some help first. Slash F Sapphire. I am using the right command, but why it is not allowing allowing me? So let's try again. T A S K K I L L slash F slash I M E X Explorer dot E X E and press enter. And as you can see, he has gone blind. So now simply close the window, and he will not know what to do because by pressing any other key, Windows or anything, you cannot do anything because nothing is here. The Explorer main Explorer. Console the shell of the window is gone. To take back the take back the shell, just press Control Shift Escape, and it will open the Task Manager. Go to File and Run New Task. Right here, E X P L O R E R, the same file name, and press Enter, and it will put back your Explorer, and now the window will run normally. So that's for the third trick. The fourth trick. I want to share that to hide everything in the drive. So, in the E drive, I want to hide everything. So, if I, my friend will open it and he will not see anything here. So, just simply open the E drive, press Shift key and right click, and open command window here. Simply write A double D R I B at rib and press H, then plus slash S. And star dot star, not eight dot eight star dot star, and press enter. I think this should do the work. And it it is giving me error that not resetting system files. You cannot do anything on system files. So what I need to do is. Let me get help this time too. Again, plus S and then plus H, then star dot star slash S slash D. Let's try this one out. For the basic things, the access is denied. 
but it is hiding everything in the e drive so as there is a lot of data here so it will take some time but everything in the my music folder is hidden in my work folder it is being hidden so it is working on that so that's the simple command to hide everything in a drive in just a single go you have to write this thing and it will disappear everything in the drive and as you can see everything is gone so the time for the next command and as you can see now the command has executed completely and in the e drive there is little space available and everything is occupied but there is nothing to, to explore so to read to get the data back just write the same command but with the simple parameters instead of plus you need to write minus and press enter and it will get back everything that was in the drive you can either hit hide that whole drive or just hide the data in the drive the final trick i want to share is to mouse swap just swapping the mouse buttons for example if i'm right click here it is giving me this con this is context menu and i right i will left click to select the option so simply open the cmd you can also get this thing because this was the first one of the first post of my blog so how to swap mouse buttons you can get a hint from here you just need to know only one line line of code and everything will go according to you this simply write run dll32 use the 32 and swap mouse button so we will try this run dll32 user 32 comma swap mouse buttons and press enter and i have written buttons instead of button so it will give me error so i will write button error user 32 i think i have done something wrong so instead i think this is case sensitive though so write is add as it is swap mouse button and press enter and it is executed successfully so keep in mind that this string is case sensitive you cannot you cannot make it all smalls or all caps so now if i will try right click it is not showing me in the context menu but what if i am doing left click and it is the mouse button has been swapped and it will be very difficult for me to operate so now i have to i have to train my brain again to be used to this new change in settings so i hope you like it if you want to get back the same settings so it it will be a little difficult but simply right click personalize and here you will see mouse pointers just left cl right click here not left click and you will see pointer options and here in the buttons you will see swap switch primary and secondary buttons so click here and press ok so it will reset your buttons and you will have the same settings again i hope you like this video thanks for watching and this video has gone a bit longer so if you have any question or if you liked my videos please subscribe and like the video thanks for watching bye bye